What is the definition of a national army? Is Pakistani army, which is 70% ethnic Punjabi Muslim, can be considered as a national army? Oh, I'm sorry, Pakistan is not a, Pakistan army is not a national army. Pakistani army is an independent army which controls a landmass which is Pakistan. <laughs> oh. I knew that was coming. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's why I was smiling. No national army ye nahi hai. They don't swear by the constitution or anything. They don't. They control everything in Pakistan. Period. They lo, unke finance minister me himmat nahi hai budget Pakistan army ke budget kaatne ke liye. Chief ko request bheja hai ki please apne expenses kam kar dijiye aur bataiye kya kam kar sakte ho. Aisa koi. So that's not. Uh, it is not the army of a Pakistan of a nation. It is independent. And yes, it is controlled by the Punjabis. Uh, just to go in a little bit history, Pakistan Punjab never supported formation of Pakistan by the way. By the way. The Muslim League never won there. Yeah. It was the uh, vision of the uh, Muslims of UP, which used to be the uh, central provinces, United Provinces rather, UP and Bihar. Yeah. Yes, gay. Initially, they made Karachi the capital. Why was Karachi made the capital? In 47, Karachi was richer than Bombay. That was the main harbor for India. Bombay was the secondary harbor. Yes. Who controlled it? All the Sindhis and Hindus. Parsis. That was declared by Jinnah, not Lahore. Lahore had a Muslim predominance. Lahore yeah. was not made the capital. Karachi was made the capital just to throw out the Hindus and capture their uh, trade and money. And all these people who came, they were based there. They became Muhajirs. And in any case, there uh, are uh, Western uh, command headquarters of the British Indian Army used to be based in Rawalpindi. Because they had to control the wild borders, the Fata and all these areas, Afghans. My unit also was deployed in the 30s out there. The Rawalpindi was the command headquarters. So, army ke valle valle hoge. See, the other part is entire governing structure was based in India. Pakistan had no central governing structure. They had provinces and they reported to Shimla and then, of course, Delhi. Delhi in summers, Shimla in winters, earlier Calcutta. So your central structure, which was based in Delhi, you had a governance structure which was there for every state they didn't have. Hmm. But the Western Command, Army Headquarters, had the governance structure because it controlled the troops and police in police also. The Britishers ke time mein police also used to be controlled. So hmm. they had control over everything. Yeah, yeah. My own unit officer who left after 10 years and joined as a political agent in the FATA and other regions, Iskandar Mirza. He's ex my unit. What are you talking about, sir? After 10 years, there was an option to shift into the civil service and he was a political agent. And he and Ayub were the ones masterminded uh, after Jinnah died, ensuring that this chap, unka wo kya naam tha? M se unka prime minister he was murdered and then iskandar mirza with a m se mustafa some m se naam tha i'm forgetting naam yaad aayega and uh, iskandar mirza along with ayub did all the shenanigans iskandar mirza was placed as the president and then, of course, the coup took place. He, Ayub was the main mastermind behind. He didn't like what Iskandar Mirza was doing and coup kar diya. And yeah. Rest is history. So, Pakistan Army ka ye fayda tha unko. Ki they had the structure and uske, they never let the bureaucracy and the politicians take control. They ruled at the behest of the Pakistan Army. So, there is no nationalism within them. They are they run a, those Fauji foundations and everything. Ayesha Siddiqui, you read the book. 
मिलिट्री इनकॉर्पोरेशन पूरा डिटेल में होगा वो अभी भी चलता है सेम है इनहेंस वर्जन है पूरा सेम है एंड uh, मजे करते हैं वो वोम टू टोम फौज से रिटायर हुए वहां पे नौकरी मिल गई उनको फौजी फाउंडेशन डीएचए सब जगह ऊपर से नीचे पेंशन भी लेते हो वहां से भी पैसे लेते हो वो पैसे आप गवर्नमेंट uh, को देते नहीं है 